It is currently uh, 11.25 p.m. at night. Just got out of work, which was very stressful. Not gonna get into it that much, but just note that I'm a waiter at a movie theater that serves food. So it's kind of like a restaurant slash movie theater and just, it was a very like rough night, just like a lot of stress and like I have bad anxiety. So it was like very like anxiety based, kind of like work day, just wasn't good, nine hour shift, very tired and like the main thing what I'm trying to do right now is to just stay positive because I have a video to bust out for you guys and so I'm excited to do that when I get home. I'm uh, in me mom's uh, in me mom's car. And so right here is where I will put the time of when I talk about like, the subject of the video which is supplements. So like right down there, right, right down there is the time. So if you guys want to watch all this stuff, go for it. I'm not really the type to like have like a big announcement to make in a video but have the announcement have the announcement be like two minutes long and then like the video be like 20 minutes so you have to like search for it oh wow oh hello so i'm feeling a little dirty so i think i'm gonna take a shower okay now i'm feeling a little wet All right, so the main objective right now is to one, find some food, and two, find a good thumbnail for this video. So I just got together some peanut butter powder with some milk, some pre-workout, peanut butter powder, pre-workout, <laughs> and some gold standard whey protein. Honestly, like, like I'm, t I'm telling you like right now that you already know that when you clicked on this video that it was clickbait and the only reason why I did that is because like I feel like if you be like if you put like um there's like a normal kind of like video about supplements people will be like oh yeah yeah like same bullshit blah 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 so that's why I put why you absolutely like need supplements to kind of like catch like the viewers eye just because I know that I have important information that I want to say to them and so that's why I kind of did like a little clickbait also because I think it's funny. So yeah, Sky, what you doing? What you doing, Sky? Also, I just want to say RIP because this thing just detached. So no gains, no gains. All right, so it is currently 12:37 a.m. right now, and I wasn't feeling a big breakfast, so I made a little breakfast. Got some blueberries and strawberries. Got some toast. Got some OJ, no pulp. I'm a pulp guy, but I'm also a no pulp guy. So I'm both. But yeah, so going to watch some random ass YouTube videos because that's what I like to do. I like to like search the web and just look at funny shit. And going to chow down that meal. And then I'm going to talk to you guys about the supplements. So on the title of the video it said why you why you need supplements like why do you like absolutely need supplements no other way around it truth is you really don't need supplements whatsoever um, also I have a thing of notes of just like things I want to talk about just because like I feel like this is like very valuable information i feel like so many people like just don't really understand supplements right so just like think about it put it in this perspective right we humans have been on this earth for literally thousands and hundreds and gazillions and trillions and billions of years over exaggeration but anyways like you get the point and like we've done fine without supplements supplements only came in in like the 19 like hundreds like probably like I don't even know like the exact like year, but I'm get I'm guessing like the 19 like 80s, maybe like 70, 70s, 90s. I don't know. Around that period is when supplements like first came in. So like um, we've had all like the nutrients and, es and essential things to carry on life for hundreds of years. So do you really think that like oh all of a sudden now like this is like what you need to like get huge and get swole? Like yeah, like you need a little bit of powder in like a cup no the whole thing is that supplements are a very good way to make money so that's why people market them so much 
and say like, oh, you need this because it'll help you recover. Or, oh, you need this because it'll increase your testosterone and give you muscle faster. So it's like a lot of people get fooled by this because when they start working out, they see guys in these magazines and they're all jacked up, you know, on roids and like they, had, they, they hold like a little scoop of like protein powder. And then like the kid who's like probably 13 and wants to get ripped thinks, oh, I want to be like that guy. And then they go out and buy it. So like that's the whole thing of supplements. But I'm going to go through protein powder, pre-workout, creatine, BCAs. I think that's it. And I'm going to break down each one and talk about it, whether if you need it or not. And also I'm just looking at my time right now because I don't want to keep this video too long. First thing is protein powder. Um, honestly, the only time, I've said this many times before, the only time that I recommend protein powder is when you are 100% unable to put in a sufficient amount of protein into, into your body. Now, what that means is that, let's say you are constantly traveling, you are constantly on the go, nonstop, just like, you can't sit down for 30 minutes and have a break, right? And like, like literally. So when, if you're in that like position, then I do recommend probably like a protein shake like once every two days just to like help you get some protein in. Because all protein powder is, is just 20 grams of protein, but in powder. It also has a lot of other like, um, like flavorings and like, new, like in, not nutrients, like flavorings and ingredients that probably aren't good for you. Everything like that. Because you look on like the ingredients, you don't know what the hell those things are. Almost nobody does. And so if you do know what those things are, then you're a genie. I mean, I can tell you right now, four ounces of chicken breast is going to be a lot healthier and a lot more beneficial to your gains than two scoops of protein powder because your body can only take in so much protein. So the people who take two scoops of 25 grams of protein powder end up having 50 grams of protein in a shake and they drink it in five seconds, you're probably wasting about 20 grams or so of that protein. Like, your body can only take in so much in, like, in an amount of time. Me and my friend were actually talking about this at work and how much protein you can consume in, like, an hour. And I believe he said that, like, the body can consume, like, 30 grams of protein in an hour. In an hour. But I, I think it's a little bit more than that, but I'm not so sure. But, yeah, so really, you don't need protein powder, all right? It's not going to get you swole. It's not going to get you big. Um, having meat, having... Good, healthy food is a lot, lot better than protein powder. I honestly recommend a Chobani yogurt and a fruit salad, a small fruit salad and a Chobani yogurt instead of this thing or chicken, steak, anything, tuna, eggs. That's all better than protein powder. So your protein powder is your last resort. So do not get it and have it be your number one go-to when it comes to protein intakes. Homemade protein shakes are very good as well. So like those are good if you make your own kind of protein shake or whatever That's fine. If you want to incorporate like a little bit of powder then a little bit of like other ingredients that have also that also have protein like Protein oatmeal yogurt things like that. Then that's great. So on to the next one So I'm gonna move it nice and personal for you guys But anyways Pre-workout a lot of people who know me who live with me and Colin and all and all of us all the gym rats at my gym, the people that like know us or like know that we go there or just work out with us or just friends with us, know that we love, 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 love pre-workout. I hate to say it, but out of all the fake supplements in the industry, pre-workout is probably going to be the realest one you will ever meet. And the reason why is because it actually works. Now, the only thing wrong with pre-workout is it sometimes has a bad rep because people like to misuse it. They like to get like Colin and I and get addicted and go crazy on caffeine like Mr. Hyde, ESP, and everything like that. Then there's other people who take it moderate like Nitroflex and, you know, like a nice consistent pre-workout. So the main thing is, right, usually pre-workouts will do three, th three things. One, get you a crazy pump. Two, get you hyped off caffeine. Or three, give you a little bit more endurance, which I honestly think is bullshit because I've never really noticed that. Whenever I take pre-workout, I've noticed that um, I get a lot more hyper, a lot more hyped up, energetic, and I get a good pump. Because honestly, some of the ingredients here, what they do is they open up your arteries and they open up your arteries to maximize blood flow. 
So it, it like if it says like maximizing pump and it does have ingredients that will do that, then it honestly will probably give you a little bit better pump than usual. And if it has the caffeine, it'll give you a lot more energy. But the thing is, a lot of people like to like take these supplements and they get addicted. So like if they don't have their pre-workout on them, then they can't get a good workout in. Like like it, it becomes like a necessity. And that's what happened to Colin and I. Like um, a couple of months ago when we were working on everything, we would like need to take pre-workout. And it's come to the point where sometimes I can take pre-workout like this or take something really strong and not feel anything because of my tolerance. So the thing is some of these pre-workouts have 300 plus to like 400 mil plus milligrams of uh, caffeine. So you gotta be careful for those. So if you have a low tolerance, do not get a very high caffeine pre-workout. Um, moderate yourself, find your balance. For like example, once this is done, I'm probably gonna take two weeks off and then go back down to Nitroflex, which doesn't has which doesn't have as much uh, caffeine, but has like other ingredients that I like in it. So, yeah, main thing is um, if you are very tired, you're very run down, you don't get a lot of sleep, you work a lot, all that, and then you go to the gym, you're like a zombie. Then maybe a pre workout is good for you because it'll help you, you know boost up your energy a bit. But just beware, it can mess up your appetite, and if you take it like right before bed or during the night, you'll be up all night. So yeah, and it can give you uh, post pre-workout shits, which are not fun. So yeah, that's pre-workout. Next thing I don't have is creatine, which looks like this. Creatine is creatine monohydrate. I'm gonna keep this very simple with you guys. Um, when, it, when you're taking creatine, drink a lot of water Make sure it's creatine monohydrate. If it's any other kind of creatine mixed with a word or anything like that, don't take it. They mess with it and it most likely isn't good for your body. So just take creatine monohydrate, which is the natural substance that your body produces. Now, if your body produces it, you don't need it. So no, you don't need creatine. No, taking creatine is not going to make you stronger. All it's going to do is add a little bit of water weight to you because you need to be drinking a lot of water. So it'll make you bulk up very, very, very slightly. So it's not going to do anything for you. Last one that we're going to is BCAs. Honestly, um, BCAs contain amino acids, which help you with recovery. Me, personally, I've heard that like people have like actually seen good results from taking BCAs. And uh, me, personally... When I took BCAs, I didn't feel shit. So uh, it might depend on like what brand you're using, if you're using like a legit brand or a crappy brand. But I honestly don't think that um, BCAs will do much to your body. Maybe if you're like very run down all the time and like extremely fatigued, taking that will like help a little bit. But if you're just like a normal person from day to day, gets a good amount of sleep, some good nutrients, everything like that, then you don't need BCAs. Okay, so one more thing. Um, somebody on my Snapchat asked me to answer this in the video, and it was he's trying to find out the best way to recover after like hockey games because he plays hockey. So the thing is, right, when your body is fatigued, it needs two things food and sleep. So the best way to recover after a hockey game is to get a shit ton of sleep, probably nine hours plus of sleep honestly maybe eight hours if you usually like don't get a lot of sleep and then go on a caloric surplus so the thing is when you're playing a sport that naturally fatigues you gets you tired all that you want to be eating a lot so if you're trying to go like on a cut while playing sports you're going to be very very tired you want to be on a caloric surplus so your body has the nutrients to recover to you know gain muscle to you know make gains everything like that so Best way to recover from a hockey game, stretch in the morning or stretch right after. Make sure your, your muscles are loose and that they don't cramp up. Um, maybe take an ice bath. Those help. Get a lot of sleep and caloric surplus. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to edit this right now and it's about like 1 o'clock in the morning and I'm super tired. But, want to get this done. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something from it. Probably just repeated myself because I'm overtired. But, peace.